Hello everyone! Today my video will be a tutorial. Many people ask me for one coloring a different color skin and I had some comments on my dark color skins videos so I chose this illustration for that. If you want to see the full video of this speed paint click on the top of this video or you can also find the link on the description box below. First of all, I want to say I am no expert, but I thought it would be also a good tutorial for beginners like me of how I did this coloring. So it's not something too fancy, but I think it looks good for the moment. My drawings most of the time have very white pale skins, but when I started coloring darker skin, I completely fell in love with it. Even if I don't think I master it, because I don't. It's very hard to color a darker skin than the usual white, pink, yellow, because with traditional art, the materials work so differently, especially the markers. I did my selection of the colors that look good together and that I had available, of course, so I chose six colors. I chose E93, that will be the blush color, I didn't end up using much, and the colors for the skin are E57, E27, E47, E59 and lastly the E74 for the lips. You can check also the numbers and the names of each color on the description box below, but I will also put on the corner of the video the marker I am using while you watch the video. I will use them in this order. Here you can see all the colors I used and the numbers on the side. The light one, like I said, I didn't end up using much because I ended up using a colored pencil in the end. I think it worked better and the alcohol would not ruin the coloring I did until the end. Here I am using all of them together and you can see going from the lightest to the darkest. This is also a good method to see if the colors you have blend together as you want and if they look okay. Just to give a bit of background first on this illustration, this is a draw this in your style and the skin being this dark was one of the rules, so I am completely aware there are more skin dark colors and this one it's very dark. You can actually see the original here on the side. So let's go to the drawing itself. First I used my base color E57 but it was also very tricky to blend everything since the Copic markers make the color even darker if you keep coloring and adding strokes to blend. This will be the best lesson I will give you in this video. I tried to first color where the shadows would go because I knew I had to use a darker color after. You can see how difficult it is to color with a darker color. It doesn't need to be the skin, but any other detail that is a darker copic can be very tricky if you like to blend everything like me. The end result can be much darker than expected because you are adding pigment every time you paint over just to make everything blended. And having the strokes marked on the paper, it's something I really don't like to see, so I really like to have everything super blended. The solution is trying to use the direction and the 45 degree angle on the pen while doing the strokes, 
and like that I managed with one copic to do lighter and darker parts. If you are happy with it, you can just add one more shadow and maybe you are done, but I wanted to do something else. A crucial part for this to go well, it's also using the paper that is marker proof, so the paper can still be wet and make the blending easier. You will still see some parts that are not blended, but that will come later. When I was satisfied, I went ahead with my second color, in this case E27, to color the shadows on the skin. Doing slowly is the key. And then I used again the first marker to blend where I didn't thought it was good enough. On the cheek, I didn't like how it didn't blend, so when I did some strokes again, you can see what I talked about in the beginning, the color got darker. This is something you learn only by doing it. I kept doing the same all over and then I used a third marker, even more dark than the last two. Then I got to the conclusion that the skin had to be a bit darker, so I covered, I covered everything again, doing the exact same thing, going back and forth with the three markers until being satisfied and having everything blended. Lastly, I used my fourth color to make the darkest color on the shadows. When everything was colored, I used my blush marker, E93, and I colored the lips with another color, the E74, like I said in the beginning. Like this, the coloring started being good to the eye. The lips ended up being a mix of the darkest copic for the skin, E59, but also the E74 and I ended up also coloring the eyebrows. When I had the face colored, I noticed the lines I used that was with a sepia color, but they got lost on the coloring because 
the, the markers were a bit darker than the line art. I ended up doing my line art again with black, but I also redid the eyes and the eyebrows. Just to make sure everything was like I wanted, I ended up coloring the eyes and it looked so much better. Having the face ready just made me realize I was happy of how the coloring was, so I did the rest on the body. Sometimes when we are not sure about how it is, we should try to make a finished look and then you will see if it's the right way or not. This time it went well, so I just continued doing the coloring. Repeating the steps. Check the numbers on the corner of the video to be more accurate. Use the first color, E57, for the base color. The areas were pretty big, so I had to blend a bit more than the face. Then I passed to the first shadow, E27. Then I used the second shadow, E47, and I finished using E59. And that's it. It's very simple, right? Since I worked faster on this part, I didn't find the need to use my base color to blend because the paper was still very wet and everything blended super fast. So that's the little perk about the Copic markers. When you are very used to it, you end up being very fast and then you don't need to blend as much as you leave everything dry and then repeating the process again. Let's go to other area on the drawing and look again to the corner of the video to know which colors I used. But the process will always be the same. It's also good to make different areas and smaller areas at a time. So that way it's easier for blending too. I really had a lot of fun coloring this skin and also this illustration. I think it's one of my favorite ones and I really want to do more. And I really hope you like it. So I hope you like this tutorial of how I did the coloring of the skin that is so beautiful with these warm colors.
Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. If you have any tutorial you would like to see from me, you can write on the comment section below and I'll try my best. I am really happy about this result and hopefully I can try to make a tutorial doing also a coloring like this but with real brush pens next time. That is something I have been getting a lot to do on your comments. So I really want to make that one next. Again, if you want to watch the speed paint of this beautiful character, click on the link on the top of this video or you can also find on the description box below. The markers I am using you can also see on the description box below. And if you want to see more tutorials, check also the link on the description box below. Lastly, I used colored pencils to make details stand out, such as the cheeks, but also some eyeshadow, because these dark colors with eyeshadow look so, so nice, and also a bit more of the skin. I hope to see you on my next video and also don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more. Also the bell so you won't miss my new notifications. Bye bye!